Hi, my name is Flynn Lawrence. I'm an applications engineer at AR RF Microwave Instrumentation. AR has made a name for providing RF amplifiers and individual system components. Today I want to talk to you about our overall system design and capabilities. This particular system is designed for mil standard 464 testing, ground levels, testing up to 500 volts per meter field strength, and testing from 10 kilohertz up to 40 gigahertz. Stepping through the individual components of the system, first we have a 10,000 watt A series amplifier providing 10,000 watts of rated power CW from 10 kilohertz to 225 megahertz. Over here, we have a 2000 W1000. This amplifier is a 2000 watt amplifier spanning from 80 megahertz to one gigahertz. Inside this shielded cabinet, we have a system designed to span from one gigahertz to 18 gigahertz. First, we have a system interlock which is connected to a power distribution unit inside the system, providing filtered breaker power to all the components within the system. Next, we have a power meter for measuring all forward and reflected power from each of the amplifiers. We have a signal generator for providing all signals, CW and modulated, to all the amplifiers. We have a system controller for routing all RF from signal generation to power measurement and output of the amplifiers. Starting with the amplifiers, we have a 700 S1G4 providing 700 watts from 1 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz. We have a 500 watt TWT amplifier providing 500 watts from 2.5 gigahertz to 7.5 gigahertz. And lastly, we have another 500 watt TWT amplifier providing 500 watts from 7.5 gigahertz to 18 gigahertz. This system is completely enclosed in a shielded rack. You can see the finger stock inside here providing significant attenuation as this system rack is mounted on top of a scissor lift with the intention of being placed directly in the shielded chamber. The reason for this rack being placed inside the chamber rather than outside the chamber is to minimize all system losses between the amplifiers and antennas. We want to provide the most, the maximum amount of power from the amplifiers to the antennas to generate the maximum amount of field strength. Additionally, you can see here on the right hand side where the antennas would be mounted, we have uh, anechoic material here to minimize any reflections or minimize any back lobes provided from the antennas. Moving on to the last piece of the system, we have a system designed for 18 gigahertz to 40 gigahertz. The 18 to 40 gigahertz system is designed similarly to the one to 18 gigahertz system. We have a system interlock Again, providing a single switch provi for providing all power to each of the amplifiers and components. All the power inside the rack is filtered and breakered the same way through a power distribution unit that the 1 to 18 gigahertz rack is. The 40 gigahertz rack has its own dedicated power measurement system. We have dedicated signal generation for 18 to 40 gigahertz. We have a system controller for routing all RF from signal generation, power measurement, and amplification from 18 to 40 gigahertz. And we have two amplifiers in this system. We have a 40 watt TWT amplifier providing instantaneous power from 18 gigahertz to 26 and a half gigahertz. And we have another 40 watt TWT amplifier providing 40 watts of rated power from 26 and a half gigahertz to 40 gigahertz. This system is mounted on top of a manual system for, for maintaining height up to six meters. Similarly to the 1 to 18 gigahertz system, we want to minimize all losses between the amplifi amplifiers and antennas. To do that, we have mounted our antennas directly on the rack itself. Additionally, we cover the side of the rack with anechoic material to minimize any reflections or unwanted effects provided from the field generation. Now I'd like to take you around to the back of the system racks to show you how we mount all the equipment and how we organize all the equipment and how we route all the equipment. And now we'll take a look at the rear panel of the 18 to 40 gigahertz system. As I mentioned before, all RF is routed through our system controller, a bank of RF switches, which, which is routing all power measurement, all signal generation, and all signals from all the amplifiers. Another thing of note is that within the system, 
in order to minimize losses, we're utilizing less than 12 inches of waveguide throughout both of our amplifiers, which are feeding directional couplers and going directly to the antennas, which are mounted on the side of the rack. Down at the very bottom, we have a power distribution unit, which is providing filtering and breakering of all incoming power to the rack and then distributing that power to each of the individual components. Lastly, all communication for all of the individual components is routed into a single GPIB to fiber optic converter box, where that fiber optic is then routed to a bulkhead feed through on the side of the rack and fed out to the outside world. Now I'd like to take you to the back rear panel of the 1 to 18 gigahertz system. Here we have the rear panel of the 1 to 18 gigahertz rack. Again, all RF is routed through our system controller, whether it be power measurement, signal generation, or amplification. That RF is then routed through directional couplers and straight out to our antennas that are mounted on the side of the rack or the side of the scissor lift. Down at the bottom, we have a power distribution unit which filters and breakers all incoming power and distributes all that power to all the individual components of the system. And for all the components of the system, their communication is routed into a single GPIB to fiber optic converter where that fiber optic is ran to a bulkhead connector on the side of the rack and fed to the outside world. Lastly, because this is a shielded rack, cooling must be provided through an external air conditioning unit. We don't want forced air cooling because we don't want any holes in the shielded rack. This has been one example of a system designed and manufactured by AR. We provide many other standard systems as well as customized systems. We pride ourselves on getting in up front with the customer and working with the customer through design, through manufacturing, and providing service to the system after purchase. The majority of these components are built here in our Souderton facility, many more than what other customers and what other vendors will provide. Lastly, we at AR ensure that all components are matched and that all field strengths and specifications are guaranteed. Thank you.